Rangers. Anybody else as exhausted as I am? It's the first Monday back after the new year. Well, at least when you're watching this, it's going to be the first Monday back. We're a little pre-recorded here. I hope that you're all properly caffeinated and ready to take on whatever the week throws at you. Quick question. How many of you guys are in at least one group text message out there? How many of you live for the group or need to pull the group before you make any major decisions in your life? Now that we've laid that foundation, it's time for what you've all been waiting for. I need to expose my group text message. What? I'm just kidding. The brotherhood of the group text message is a sacred one, never, ever to be betrayed. But today I do want to talk to you about the power and importance of group text messaging. But first, as the kids say, I need to ask you to smash that like button down there. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. I always pick a commenter from the video and I'll give them a shout out at the end of the next video. I think it was the great philosopher Macklemore who said, these relationships take maintenance. Everybody's got expectations. Text back, so impatient. Now, I'm absolutely taking those lyrics completely out of context, but don't worry, those bars are gonna make sense a little bit further on in the video. My current main group message has consisted of my six closest friends ever since my bachelor party way back in 2014. Throughout the years, members have come and gone, but the core has always remained the same. Over the past six years, that text message chain has included everything from memes to inside jokes, advice, condolences, along with engagement, birth, marriage, and even divorce announcements. There's also dirt on there that ensures that if anybody ever runs for office, all of us are going to have cabinet positions. That group text has become both a support system and a sounding board. Since the thread was created, many of us have gotten married and had kids. We can share our experiences and give or seek advice, but most importantly, we use it to relentlessly and unapologetically roast each other. That's just how we show love. I truly find that relationships with friends and especially acquaintances that I'm not in a group text message with take a lot more effort to really maintain. I have active group text messages for immediate family, extended family, college friends, co-workers, the band that I manage, marketing clients, and of course my fantasy football league. I use some of these groups as sounding boards. I can test out a joke, bounce ideas off people, and ask for feedback. I can then gauge the reaction of these various people from diverse backgrounds and get honest feedback. In the case of my main group, it's always going to be brutally honest feedback. Most importantly, it's feedback that I trust. I also see a great benefit in work group text messages. If I'm working on a project with more than one individual person, I always start a group text message. I'm big on transparency and I also like immediate feedback. So a group message allows me to keep everyone in the loop. I can pose a question and once everybody has a chance to look at it, they can give feedback all at once. It also serves as a living record of what we've talked about that we can refer back to later. I've also seen group messages be extremely powerful when used properly for promotional purposes. Now I do want to distinguish between a group message and a mass text messaging. There's programs out there that handle mass text messages and that's an entirely different animal, a whole different scenario. You see that's text message marketing and there's entire laws out there that surround it. So you want to be really careful with what you're doing on that. What I'm talking about is relationship developing and communication for small businesses, up and coming bands, and people trying to develop their upstart brand. Here's an extremely practical application that anyone in a band can use. At every gig, walk around the room and ask people if they'd be willing to give you their cell phone number so you can let them know the next time you're in town. Enter the person's name in your phone along with the city. For example, John Scranton. Now create a group message with everybody from Scranton in it. And then every time you're in Scranton, you send out a text letting people know that you're coming to town. Start a conversation. Hey guys, we'll be in town on Friday. What songs would you like us to play? Now not only have you reminded them that you're going to be in town, but you've also made them invested, giving them a chance to pick out a song that you might play. Then after the gig, you follow up with another text message that's something like, Scranton, we had an awesome time. You guys sure know how to party. We're still hungover. Can't wait to see you next time. You could also make the text message group into like a modern day fan club of sorts. You know, send out early video links and song links and give exclusives to merch, things like that. I need to stress that you do not want to overuse this. Use it very sparingly. Not everything that you want to tweet should be sent through a text message. Text messages are a very personal form of communication. People will leave it very quickly. If someone asks to be removed, just remove them. Delete their number from your phone, don't include them in any further text messages. Remember, just because they don't want to get a text message from you doesn't mean they hate you. It just means, hey, stop texting me. Just oblige them and do it. If executed properly, the people within this group text message will become emotionally invested in your project more than you could ever dream of. Same goes for stores and bars and clubs, coffee shops. You can create something very special. Text out promo codes that only people within your group text message are able to receive. The possibilities of group text messages are absolutely 
endless if you use them properly. The big takeaways here are make them emotionally invested, provide value, don't overuse it, be real, and if they ask to be removed, just remove them. In closing, I just want to say I love group text messages. I hope you do now too. And if you made it this far, please explain to my wife I'm always texting my boys in my group message. You could also explain to her why you smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and also turn on your post notifications because it helps me so much. And as always, remember, this caffeine kills fascists. So still